These are five common newbie mistakes made by property investors that I've seen in my last 15 years as a mortgage broker. And some of these so-called investors are actually in white collar jobs, they have degrees and are apparently very smart. Anyway, mistake number one, they fail to review the performance of their current property portfolio. And this same mistake runs into the current batch of TikTok clients I'm speaking to at the moment. Out of the 209 inquiries uh, in the last two months, you know, refinance comes at 31% of inquiry. And at a whopping 41%, we have get someone to review their current structure. When I get on the phone with these people who apparently have about two to three properties and I ask them these questions, questions like, what's the market value of your property? I don't know. Okay, what is the equity available in your uh, property at the moment? I don't know. Okay, what is the uh, rate of percentage growth in your area at the moment? I don't know. They have no clue at all. But then you might turn around and go, hey, if they know, they won't be speaking to you, Mr. Smarty Pants. I know, I know, but that doesn't discount the fact that that is a mistake. Because seriously, if I'm talking to you and you're saying you're an investor and you have about two to three properties or even more, and you don't even have a simple Excel spreadsheet that looks at, you know, the original contract price that you bought it for, what do you think the current market value is? At 80%, what is the uh, you know, available equity available and then uh, compared to the existing lending? You're a freaking amateur investor. And doing what I just show you is not hard. Please have a spreadsheet. Review the past purchase you have and keep track of it. Seriously, guys, accumulating property and you know, trying to get property to grow well so you can retire early is not a set and forget thing. You gotta seriously, you know, sit down once a year or every six months to tabulate on a spreadsheet where you're at and whether you're reaching your goals. Now, obviously, I do most of that crap for my clients. That's, that's something I enjoy doing. But the onus shouldn't be on your mortgage broker. Am I accumulating properties? No, you are. Which leads to point number two. You guys fail to be financially fluent. I'm not talking about getting an accounting degree or economic degree. But at least know how to budget your money, save money, and most importantly, surround yourself with people that know more than you. For example, following my TikTok and other TikTokers that talk about you know, property accumulation and property investment. Number three, being too scared to invest, which are called pissing in your pants philosophy. If you're always pissing your pants thinking, oh, is it now a good time to buy? Uh, when is the best time to buy? Then I'm sorry, you're procrastinating too much. If you can afford to buy, then get into the market right now and then go and assess your situation four to five years later to see whether you made the right decision, which I think you would be. Number four, trying to diversify too much. And you've got shares, you've got crypto, you've got MFTs, you got yada, yada, yada. I'm telling you, I jack all trades and you're a master of none. If you want to focus on property accumulation, then focus only on property. And lastly, number five, you don't have a freaking system. If I ask you right now, what is your property investment strategy? What is the premise of it? If you go, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to do negative gearing and over here I'm doing positive gearing. I'm trying to buy, run, effect and flip. Dude, you don't have a strategy. Personally, if you ask me what is my system, I would definitely say right off the back, I'm doing negative gearing. I personally have goals, for example, how many properties I need to buy per year or every two years. I have a timeline where I need to be before I retire. And this is the bonus mistakes most investors make. And that is trying to chase the next property hotspot. Because I talk to these people every day, they try to outsmart the market. Guys, this is called property investment, not property speculation. You're not freaking gambling, okay? Property investment is a long-term strategy, four to five years or even up to 10 years. So guys, jump in the comments, which mistakes are you making? Are you the pissing pants investor or are you the uninformed investor? Let me know, I'd love to read them.